What's up guys, Alex here from That Shitty Booze Show, and welcome to Shitty Booze Reviews Movie Recommendation. The movie I'm going to recommend today is Split Second, released in 1992 and stars the late Rucker Howard, who sadly passed away on July 19th, 2019. My dad took me to see Split Second in the theater, summer of 1992, and I must say I absolutely loved it. I was captivated by its dark atmosphere, cool gore effects, and of course, the over-the-top performance by Rucker Hauer. Okay, so I have my shitty booze and my defense weapon, so let's get into this. Spoilers ahead. Now, Split Second takes place in the distant future of 2008, where areas of London have flooded as a result of global warming. Rucker Hauer plays Harley Stone, an unhinged homicide detective that's at the end of one's tether after failing to prevent the death of his partner to a supernatural serial killer. Foster? And now, three years later, it is revealed that the killer is back. While Stone attends an S&M club, a woman asks him to watch the door while she uses the bathroom. Excuse me, please, I have to pee. Can you watch the door for me? Sure, babe. Thank you. Hey, don't be a creep and peek, okay? <laughs> Stone somehow fails this very easy task, and the woman is murdered. Stone, naturally, is very upset after the passing of the young woman. I mean, it makes sense. He only knew her for, like, 15 seconds. Then Stone proceeds to interrogate a dog. You know something. What about you, dickhead? I know. I know you saw him. What'd you see, puppy dog? What the fuck you see? Tell me what you saw. Bullshit. Killer then taunts and torments Stone using a psychic connection that they share. Foster! which is explained as a result from a scratch Stone received from the killer the same night his partner was murdered. Foster? Come on, pal! The killer is later described as a large, mutated humanoid that eats the hearts of his victims and absorbs their DNA. The creature design is an interesting one to say the least. It's very large, brooding, and wears a visor for some reason. In my opinion, it looks like a cross between a xenomorph and a motorcycle helmet. But overall, it looks fine and it works for the movie. Anyway, Harley Stone is then paired up with Dick Durkin, a psychologist that specializes in serial killers. Stone doesn't take too kindly to Durkin, and hilarity ensues. Where'd he go? Huh? Don't you? No. Talk to me. I didn't see you. <laughs> Man, what a right. <laughs> Massage is one of my hobbies. That's it, now just relax and let the tension flow. Listen, pal. Touching me is not a great idea. <laughs> As Stone and Durkin's investigation continues, they learn that the murders are linked with the lunar cycle and some astrological shit. Stone and Durkin then begin to bond, and for some reason, Harley Stone is very impressed by the fact that Dick Durkin gets laid every night by his girlfriend. You get laid every night and you run five miles every morning? Yeah. You really get laid every night? Yeah. We are then introduced to Michelle, played by Kim Cattrall, who is the widow of Stone's partner. Allegedly, Stone and Michelle had an affair together that eventually went sour, but upon reconciling, they develop a relationship again. While Michelle lounges in Stone's apartment, that a woman was murdered in Stone's building. Michelle is attacked and bitten by the killer upon its retreat. Stone! For Christ's sake! I better find her again. Don't, don't worry about it. Wait. Get the medics. Later on at the police station, Stone consoles Michelle. You'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. 
and Stone develops a weird habit of kissing Michelle at random awkward moments. Did you see anything? Um, no, I, I saw a flash and then I felt the pain, but that's all I remember. Are you okay, Michelle? Yeah, I, uh... Hmm. Oh, God, your Tay-Tays. <laughs> After realizing that the killer failed to retrieve the heart from the latest victim, Stone's psychic abilities tell him that the killer must be in the police station morgue. He's in there. Sure as shit, the creature is present, and it leads to a brief firefight. Durkin gets a glimpse of the hulking killer, which seriously puts him on edge. He's bigger than a stone. It's quite a hole. Did you get to see him? Him? It wasn't a him, that was a fucking it! And in a fit of insanity, he demands that they obtain big fucking guns. I need bigger guns. Big fucking guns! <laughs> That's where we're going to get big guns. Stop! We need some big, big fucking guns! That's it too fucking small. Wow. No, that's an assault shotgun. It's fully automatic. Yeah. This, that is 650 rounds a minute. Yeah? Yeah. What do you need two for? Hey, what the fuck is this thing you're after? A Sherman tank? No. What? No, no. That's a Megatron flash grenade. You could clear the jungle with one of these things. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Bingo. Let's go. Oh, yeah. After leaving the armory, Stone and Durkin return to Stone's apartment, where they find Michelle traumatized after seeing a human heart that was placed in Stone's refrigerator. And the fridge touched him. Yeah, Stone here, come in. Something moving down the end of the street. What is it? I'm just going to investigate. I don't know. I'm going to take a look. One sec. Stone finds Durkin in his car, his chest mutilated with a carving of a Scorpio symbol. They then hear Michelle screaming from Stone's apartment. Holly! They rush back just to find Michelle has been kidnapped by the killer. Using a map and the carving in Durkin's chest, they are somehow able to track the location of the killer's lair in the sewers. If he's there, Michelle's there. Hmm? Oh! There they find Michelle suspended in the air as obvious bait. <laughs> Michelle! Jesus! Christ! Harley! Oh. Roger! After freeing Michelle, the creature makes its big reveal, and the final battle begins.
more hilarity ensues. Get out of there! Oh, nice timing. <laughs> Get down! Are you okay, Kim? Well, I, uh... Watch this! <laughs> uh, we haven't been introduced. Dick Durkin. What? Dick. Michelle. <laughs> I'm gonna fry the fuck! <laughs> Shut it off! Okay. Need a screwdriver. Move! Yeah. <laughs> Give me some slack! Stay away! <clears throat> Relax, <laughs> Get out of the water. Get out of the water now! Are you sure? What? He said when. Darkhead! Oh! Oh, please, Darkhead! <laughs> <laughs> Stone then rips the creature's heart out and ends its reign of terror. I did a little research and apparently the creature was played by the actor Stuart Harvey Wilson, who also played Ruby Rod's assistant in The Fifth Element. Some people believe that The Fifth Element was inspired by Blade Runner, another film starring Rucker Hauer. The actor Brian James was in both The Fifth Element and Blade Runner. Blade Runner was directed by Ridley Scott, who also directed Alien. That no doubt inspired the xenomorph motorcycle helmet hybrid seen in the film Split Second starring Rucker Hauer. All these movies are connected. What does it mean? Nothing probably. Just a coincidence. I was also able to find a deleted scene that was only in the Japanese version of the release. The scene opens up with Dick Durkin's girlfriend on the phone, talking about how great Dick Durkin is at sex. No, I don't think it's a sexual problem. That's the one thing we don't have. It's just amazingly good sex. It's just too good. I mean, it's almost like an out-of-the-body thing. I mean, Yes, that's right. Dick Durkin is God's gift to women. Stone and Durkin then show up, and Stone starts bitching at Durkin for having a better life than him. Durkin, you live here? Yeah. What are you, rich? Yeah. You're smart? You got money? You get laid every day? What's your problem? I've got to persuade Robin to stay with her parents. For all I know, he's just arrested some really cute hooker and just fallen in love with her. <laughs> what? When Stone and Durkin enter Durkin's luxury apartment to convince his girlfriend to pack and go to her mother's, she then strikes Durkin in the face, and they use the shittiest punching sound effect. I mean, it sounds like something that I would use. Hi, darling. Where have you been? Durkin's girlfriend then accuses him of having an affair because of his absence. Are you having an affair, Dickie? No. Tell me the truth. You haven't been home for two days, and since the beginning you've come home every single day. Look. I don't have time to explain. Just pack a bag, you're leaving. Who's this guy? Well, that was very rude of me, I'm sorry. Robin, Stone, Stone, Robin. <laughs> Stone? Who is he? Well, he's my partner. Your partner? Diggy? Your eye? What the hell is that? He hit me. What the hell's going on here? What kind of police work is this? 
I love how she says that uh, right after she just hit him in the face. What? What's going on? <sighs> and then Stone slaps Durkin's girlfriend on the ass. <sighs> you have a way with women, pal. Oh, Dickie, put me down. This is ridiculous, for heaven's sakes. Dickie, all right, you've got two days of serious catching up to do, and then I might pack. Take your time, Dickie. I wish they left that scene in the theatrical release, because that's freaking hilarious. That's all for today's movie recommendation. What's your favorite Rucker Hauer film? Let me know in the comments. All right, thanks, guys. Take your time, Dickie. <laughs>